Am I really that much And Breaking these figures down like a camera You don't really do know you video 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 make sure you like comment subscribe share all that oh my gosh uh, y'all know why um i unpopular opinion let me just start off by saying i feel like saucy shantana should host all baddies reunions good host I don't know why they were sitting here talking bad about him. I can see they were sitting here talking about the professionalism. Like, you know, him hyping up the fights. <laughs> <laughs> but it was his first time. You know, I feel like these are things we can we can tell him to clean up. But him as a host, one thing him as a host I loved he was going to do was clock that Z. Zat that Z. Like, I knew he was going to be on it. So, yeah. Saucy Santana, you did your thing with this. Like, whatever Mariah and Biggie was saying, they was just mad now that I see it that you was calling them out, you know? And it's like, hey, that's what you gotta do. Like, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna lie, I skipped straight to, you know, the introduction of the reunion. I didn't care about them getting out the car and their conversations and whatnot. No lie. So, yeah. I skipped to the reunion, so yeah, I'm sorry y'all. And Natalie comes out first, you know, loves her entrance. Her outfit, she, you know, honestly, somebody said something really important on Twitter though. They said, we should not expect these girls to dress up because, you know, they gonna be fighting. So it's just like, you know, I guess, but I still feel like, you know, she could have came a little bit harder as it's being her show. So then next, they call out Scotty. And y'all, Janisha, you know, she forgot the with the body part, I guess. And Scotty, like, don't forget with the body, with the body. And honestly, if I was Janisha, I would be shady to Scotty too. Like, girl, I'm not about to be friendly to your face and you over here smashing my husband. And we all know it. Everybody in this room knows it. Like, I don't like, you know what, next. But... I do like Scotty though. I do like Scotty. I feel like she did look good. And y'all on here talking about Scotty pregnant because she drinking water. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Like, I get it. All these girls do is drink. But y'all, sometimes people do drink water. Like, the girl does not look fat. She do not look pregnant. And honestly, I really would hope that Scotty would not be stupid enough to get pregnant by lemon pepper. So let, let's let's put these rumors to rest, okay? Thank you. Next, Mariah comes out. You know, her outfit. You know, I, I, what I can say is I really did like her wig. I really did like her wig. Then Jayla comes out and... Then Sapphire's look. Then Biggie comes out and honestly, y'all, I don't, I don't want to make it seem like I dislike Biggie. I honestly feel like she could have gone harder. Like, girl, this is Baddie's Caribbean. This is yo, you know. Like, I thought she was going, you know. But I really do feel like the live audience is gonna be the death of some of these people because of the fact that. A lot of these people let things hype them up, but it's just like, nah, now don't let the audience get y'all's ass beat at Biggie. Like, Biggie just seemed like somebody that's going to thrive. Like, she knows she's somebody that got fans that's like, she's going to thrive off of that attention. And it's just like, girl, don't let these fans hype you up or get in your ass beat. You know you can't fight, babe. And Kelly comes out. I like the dress, but it's something about the bob that's kind of off. It's like it should have been snipped some more around, you know? Then Meatball comes out and <laughs> I mean like like I said, somebody on Twitter said let them dress like they about to fight. So I'm guessing she like give it up for Meatball everybody. So the first question was, you know, Janisha kind of asking the new girls, like, you know, with it being so many girls, do they feel like they had to fight for camera time? And Callie says, no, but the girls disagree. And it's just like, girl, but you came in hella turned up. And honestly, I do agree with that. I really do feel like Callie said that she was misunderstood, but it's just like, I feel like the reason why she was misunderstood is because she came up on 10. Like, I really... 
do feel like when she came in, it was like she was so on 10 that she really didn't give, let anybody have a good first impression of her. Like, you know, she came in spitting. We saw, you know, everything that went down and it was just kind of like, damn girl. So it did kind of look like she was fighting for camera time, but she apologized for it. And it's just like, yeah, I'm glad that they squashed all of that beef because it's just like, yeah, initially it was something over like an Instagram post. Like she said, it was a misunderstanding, misunderstanding. So then Saucy Santana comes in and he asks Jayla, like, you know, you always check Gretchen for saying the N word, but you know, Mariah's your homegirl. And you know, she's constantly said it. So, you know, what's up with that? And you know, Jayla and Mariah Lynn, they try to talk about it, but y'all, Mariah's sitting here talking about, but my sisters are black, my friends are black, but it's just like, you's not black, baby. <laughs> like, I don't get why people that are not black just have, like, I honestly don't even get, like, why other races just want to say the word so much like their attachment and their obsession with the word is weird like damn it seemed like they like it more than we do but Janisha kind of stops the conversation because she says she feel like we need Gretchen for the conversation so you know yeah they put a pin in it so then they call Bianca out and y'all tell me why when they call Bianca out people booing and stuff and it's like oh, I don't get why people booing Bianca but yeah well you yeah, know but yeah bianca comes out and you know they just get straight to it they talk about the whole mariah thing and it is actually shown text messages that yeah mariah never told bianca that her and sapphire squashed beef and that they were cool so when she gets on the show with her that she don't even need to be on that type of time with her so yeah because like bianca said the only reason why she went on the show was for mariah like yeah we came for a bag but i wouldn't have came for this bag you asked me to come on here you said that people were being weird to you they were jumping you and blah 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 so yeah she said she wanted to write for her friend but like bianca said like i agree with her like she had it was no personal issue like they just kept fighting like the thing just kept fighting like the initial thing was with mariah and then we solved it so yeah y'all tell me why they have text messages on the thing and so as sapphire's reading the text messages to mariah she says something about you know the text messages to tzatziki and mariah jumps up automatically and just like oh no those were fake those were fake because mariah just like i don't care about fighting y'all but what y'all not gonna do is let me get my ass beat by Tzatziki, okay? Like, and that was the energy that gave because <laughs> she jumped, because it's like, she jumped up so fast to say those were fake. It was ridiculous. It was just like, okay, girl, okay. So y'all, as Bianca and Mariah are going back and forth, Bianca's, you know, Mariah is looking straight ahead and then Bianca just comes in, knocks down. And what I'm telling you, y'all, no lie, both of those rounds, I give them to Bianca. Like, and Mariah's face shows for it. Like, the fact that behind the scenes, Mariah talking about, that's why I beat you up. It's just like, I, like, but I'm glad that the fact that she feel like that she won. That way, you know, she can kind of feel better about herself. Because her face does look kind of messed up. So, yeah. She was sitting here mad talking about y'all let her sneak me y'all let her sneak me and she talking about give me my wig give me my wig and she talking about now i'm leaving and it's just like yeah she's sitting here threatened us see we not getting another season out of her she threatened us talking about she leaving it's just like she left and now she's not on another season and quite frankly we do not care uh, the funny thing about this like i said santana we gonna work on his professional skills but clearly he does not like mariah Lynn because he was hyping that fight up <laughs> like santana you're hilarious because <laughs> the way he was hyping all these fight ups he's talking about, i'm living for baddies i'm living for me bro <laughs> like he thought in, in the back of the fights all i heard was santana he was like bop 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 <laughs> like y'all it was just so much going on and santana narrating it it's like like i said we gonna work on his professionalism but he was cocking tea he was cocking tea after we get through all that you know biggie decides to bring up her and jayla's situation and they kind of get back and forth about all that and y'all jayla made a good point biggie 
even if somebody like you recap the show and blah 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 y'all know biggie recaps baddies with her giant teddy bear and her teddy bear has the thoughts and which are her thoughts she's trying to argue with jayla about the podcast talking about her teddy bear has her own thoughts and honestly if i were jayla i just would have sat down right there and be like okay clearly this issue goes deeper than this and you got some deeper issues if you're sitting here arguing with me about the thoughts that your teddy bear have with a straight face and you're dead ass serious like at this point i don't even want to fight you i just want to get you some help because you're like i'm not arguing about i'm like the crowd is in a foul talking about fight 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 and it's like yeah jayla at this point don't even fight biggie like and then on top of that one thing about biggie is like this whole victim thing because yeah you're on the podcast talking with your teddy bear and you're like girl you are the teddy bear like don't play stupid and now it's like you're getting called out on things and now you're playing victim oh i don't want to fight but it's just like i agree with jayla i'm not gonna fight nobody that don't want to fight me but you know this is exactly why i did what i did and this is why i said what i said like biggie you got a smart mouth and you just don't know what to do with it like i feel like if biggie knew how to fight then you know or <laughs> yeah like her best friend know how to fight girl teach your best friend how to fight and maybe you know she wouldn't act like this she wouldn't have to she wouldn't feel the need to hide behind her teddy bear about things like but yeah that argument was honestly stupid she's sitting here talking about she got on beyonce internet and said well wait 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 but biggie did eat jayla up with that with that line she talking about yeah she got on beyonce internet and said she was gonna slap me and biggie said and then i did <laughs> i was like oh god however biggie did say that she told them that she was going to talk with her teddy bear like she said she always expressed to natalie how she felt and blah 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 and yes we always hear biggie voice but she said she told them that you know she's going to recap the show and talk crap with her teddy bear and it's like i do see that like because me as somebody that get on here and talk about it but me personally if i sit here and talk about somebody on the internet i wouldn't be surprised if that person would fight me though for real like if i sit here and i'm sitting here talking about oh f biggie f biggie f biggie and biggie slide in my dm like hey girl you was talking about me i'm not gonna see her but like no girl this is just youtube like girl yeah you know i said it <laughs> the fuck like but biggie you know i'm guessing like i said maybe if she knew how to fight she'll act different she'll act different afterwards they try to bring tommy out but <laughs> you know what i'm telling you i was laughing so freaking hard at this scene because i did not know what was going on i was like i don't know like because the thing is i watched tommy on love and hip-hop so it's like i know that tommy gets like blacked out like drunk and she acts like this but it's just like yo <laughs> i don't know what the hell that was like tommy like hurt and <laughs> even the way she was swinging at him like she was really fighting bobby lights like it was time for her to get up on stage and he's like last touches last touches and she's like bobby stop playing with me bobby and she's like, she's like and, uh -uh. and i was looking at scared. i was like uh, okay and my thing is i was just confused on why she was fighting him like i was waiting for something <laughs> Yeah, she was really fighting this man and the, the funniest thing was she gets on stage and she's just happy hey y'all and it's just like girl 20 seconds ago you was back there beating bobby lights ass <laughs> like tommy is hilarious bro tommy is freaking hilarious yo like uh, when tommy comes out you know she's just talking to the crowd talking to the girls she's just like one thing about me is that it never gave fake okay she said it never gave phony she even gave natalie a hug she said we got real 
money together. You know the shit Natalie be doing. You know, wink, wink. Things I can't say on here, you know? She was like, you know, we got real money together. Because even when she said that, Natalie's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, yeah, girl, we know that you out and you pimping, pimping out in Abu Dhabi. Like, girl, we know that. Uh, like, it's out in the open. So... Tommy just goes on her whole spill. She's being very loving to the crowd and blah, blah, blah. She's talking and we're just like, okay, yeah, go. Tommy shit. And, you know, Meatball and Slim come out. And as Meatball and Slim come out, Tommy ventures off and she goes fight Bobby Lights again. And, <laughs> y'all, somebody please tell me, what's Bobby Lights and Tommy's beef? Like, I really want to know because she, she's trying to get this man for real. Like, whatever he did to her, like, she's trying to get him. And he looks pretty scared. So, yeah. So, but then we can't even see that because Meatball and Tinkerbell just start throwing down. And y'all, Meatball, Tinkerbell talking about y'all watch that girl hate on me all season and blah, 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 blah. And Meatball's just like, this deeper than the chain. And y'all, honestly... Seeing this friendship break up, it's like, I really do want to know the details what's going on. Because it just, it honestly looked like it's a lot of hurt in this. It's like, it doesn't, yeah, they look mad. But it's like, it just looked like it's a lot of hurt in this fight, you know, like. So I was hurt for them. I was hurt for them. Like, it seemed like they really loved each other. And them fighting, you know. It is kind of like, damn, because, like, she keeps saying, what I do to you, Deja? What I do to you, Deja? And it's just like, meatball, yeah, like, what's tea? And honestly, y'all, it honestly does seem like some hater, A-S-S-S-H-I-T going on. Because it's like, meatball honestly could have been jealous of the fact that Tinkerbell was on this show, period. And that she's on TV having her platform and she's about to get her followers and endorsement ships and things from that too like she could be upset about that like and the chain was just something that topped it off cherry on top along with everything else that was going on in philly because it's just like but yeah more of a story you can't come on this show with friends if you want to come on this show come solo dolo because yeah you come on this show with a friend I don't think y'all gonna make it out together. Bell and Meatball go three rounds, and no lie, the first round, they was going, they was going toe for toe. Like, Tinkerbell was keeping up with Meatball. Second round, they was kind of bear hugging a little bit. It seemed like they trying to tackle each other. Like, they both need to pick their head up and fight. Like, it seemed like they trying to tackle each other, and it's like, Tinkerbell, I honestly, like, she look kind of strong, but I don't think she can, you know, get, I don't think she can pick up Meatball. Like, I'll be, you know, yeah. And honestly, Tinkerbell kind of big, and I don't think Meatball can pick up, pick up Tinkerbell. So it's like, they need to stop trying to slam each other on the ground and just, like, fight. But it seemed like that third round that Meatball gonna get her, because she, she you know, was beating her ass into the chair. But... Meatball, within her fights with Tinkerbell, Slim Too Bad wanted to fight her. Yeah, no lie, Slim Too Bad was standing her ground with Meatball. Like, you know, like, I don't know if Meatball just thought she was going to be able to fight fight Slim and that it was going to be a little one-two, but nah. Slim, she she stood ten toes with Meatball. And then, for some reason, Jayla wanted to fight Meatball. And no lie, I was confused about that because I thought they were playing mother and baby at one point in the house so it's just like what so Jayla and Meatball fight and it's just like Jayla was hitting Meatball and it's just like Meatball the thing is Jayla and Slim they was they was you know they was tagging Meatball but Meatball she was eating those hits it looked like she was really eating those hits like you know nobody really did anything to her and like you know like I said she fought Tinkerbell three times Slim fought her twice and then Jayla fought her. So it's just like, it was just a whole lot going on. And it looked like part two, everybody's fighting Meatball again. And it's just like, okay, like, I don't know what Meatball did to everybody else. Like, I knew she had beef with Tinkerbell and I knew she had beef with J.O. And I know she talked about S Slim and Dia, but it's like, I honestly didn't know everything was that deep besides her thing with Tinkerbell and J.O. So it's like, 
yeah, I'm guessing everybody's about to fight Meatball and then finally Anna and Nunu fight. And I really hope Nunu win that fight so she can just feel victorious and completed. Like, I, I really do hope that for her, for real. But yeah, y'all, part one was honestly good. I, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see part two. So in the meantime, just make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that.